guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. I just wanted to show you the soundproof barrier I have in my room. So my door is padded. So I have these, you know, things that you carry drinks around with. Um, and then I have it in each of the little cavities I have stuffed with um, foam. And so I have the same thing happening on this wall, except all around I have this three inch foam all the way around so I just took off some of the paneling so that you guys can see so yeah I mean um, if you guys have any suggestions as to how I can you know make this a little bit better and then behind the door I have these kind of like angled foam deflectors I guess so if you close the door The air conditioning sound goes away, but my son's room is right next door, and so he can be a little loud with his music. And you're hearing the birds outside. They're really loud today. My my daughter just built a little tree house in there. It's so cute, and you can kind of see there's a tree blooming white flowers. Yeah, so. Any ideas would be great. All right, cheers. Hi guys, I also just wanted to show you something really cool about my website that I just added. Um, so there's a remote viewing area. So if you click on this tab, it'll take you to this window. Um, so if you know anything about remote viewing, um, basically it's an ability to uh, see things remotely, right? So um, what you want to do is empty your mind, um, try and sit for about five minutes in, still, in stillness. Um, if any thoughts come into your mind, just dismiss them and let them go. If you get any vivid images that pop into your mind, let those images go as well. So um, when you're ready, then um, basically you click this button below, which is Target and it'll take you to an, another window and so here I have all the targets and behind each of these letters is an image so I mean if you want you can start with the first one over here um, so what you want to do is you know copy down uh, the letters and then sit with that for a little while what what feelings come to mind what vibrations do you get? Do you see or taste, a, you know, anything? And so after another five minutes, um, then you start to draw whatever, you know, sensations come to mind. So if you see a flash of silver, like a, you know, um, kind of like, let's say a triangle silver color, um, you go ahead and draw that, okay? So if, you know, vivid images come into your mind, those are not um, what you want, okay? What you want is a, a sensation or a hint. And so, yeah, um, and when you're ready, all you do is scroll over the letter and it will um, show the image. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show the first one. Oh, wow, okay, so that's kind of crazy what I saw was a flash of silver, right? And so I didn't know it was a wing, but I, I saw that image in my mind. So there you go. Yes, I did choose all of these. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of biased to it, but I mean, I, I, I made this part of the website about two weeks ago. So I honestly, I, I don't remember anything. Um, so if you go under remote viewing again, there's a shapes uh, test, a color test, and an element test. 
Um, <clears throat> so basically, you just want to guess, <clears throat> sorry, what is behind, whoa, uh, what is behind these question marks? Okay, so it could be any one of these images, right? So you, you got the idea there. Um, that was a diamond. Okay, and so the same goes for colors and for elements. So yeah, test your remote viewing ability and um, I think I might put a little comment section um, below on the main page if you wanted to comment. Uh, let me know what you think. All right, cheers. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Twin Flame reading. Um, let me see here. I think we'll use the John Holland deck. I hope you're all doing well. So this is going to be a reading for the 23rd to the 30th. Uh, sorry I'm not un not able to get these readings out to you a little bit earlier. I've been swamped um, at work. I've taken on extra shifts. Um, a lot of ha holidays happening recently. So... Um, yeah, so I'm doing my best to stay on track, uh, so just bear with me. Plus, this month has been absolutely insane. It's a lot of intense things happening. Um, I just lost my kitty cat, um, who is 23 years old, uh, a couple days ago, so a little sad about that. But we were kind of expecting that she was going to pass pretty soon. Okay, so that was a John Holland Psychic Tarot. Uh, this is a John Holland Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Okay, and... I think I'll just use my cards for the Union Energy. I hope you're able to see these okay. Oh, I'm a little off. I'll have to adjust the camera. Let me just finish pulling the cards. Still getting used to my new setup. And I think I'll just use the bottom of the deck with this one. All right. So let me just adjust the camera. That'll have to do. Okay, so I might do some clarifiers. So let me just shuffle this really quick. And I absolutely love your comments, you guys. You just make me feel so loved and accepted. And you guys are rock. Okay. So, starting with the past position for the feminine. Five of swords, conflict, defeat. So, you can see the image. There's a person that's kind of struggling, right? They've been through a battle of some kind. And it's over now. And so, um, you know, this person may have lost the battle. Um, but it was best that they that he walked away right um, winning at all costs isn't worth it so the feminine um, you know is not engaging in conflict she she feels you know negative energy being directed at her but I you know it's coming in the past so I feel that she's overcoming this Okay, so what's going on with the masculine? The Nine of Wands, rest and reconsider. So immediately I can see the two energies both have their backs turned away. The masculine is in contemplation. He's exhausted. The Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. So again, a sense that both have been through a battle. Um, they're both licking their wounds. Um... The masculine feels like giving up, but he has the strength to carry on, so he's still on a journey, um, but he's just taking a moment, okay? Whereas the feminine has given up and walked away, and it could be possibly, 
you know, from union. All right, present position for the feminine. Eight of pentacles, positive movement forward. Nice. So she's done her journey. She's now on a boat. It's almost like this is a pier, right? Um, she is feeling positive. The sun is out. Um, I can see this seagull flying in the distance. And so there's a lot of freedom, feeling uplifted. So usually this card means that you've done a lot of work. You've made a lot of progress. There's still more work to do, but the finish line is so close. Okay, so there's going to be rewards coming to you. And because of that notion, it propels you forward. So that's beautiful to see in the present for the feminine. Uh, do I have these in the right position? Oh, I should just leave well enough alone. Okay, so masculine present position, balance. So this would be the temperance card. Um, and so to me, I see the twins uh, coming into union, being, coming one soul. Uh, so this usually indicates balance in all areas of your life, but it's also the ultimate union card for twin flames. So the masculine feels balanced. He's feeling his his feminine in the 5D. Um, yeah, I see a lot of harmony in all areas of his life at the moment. So he's overcome and he's was able to achieve the sense of balance after such a difficult um, journey. Okay, near future for the feminine, disconnect and boredom. Again, facing away from the masculine uh, so this is somebody who is disconnected emotionally. They are focused on negative. So, yeah, um, it's unusual to see that after the Eight of Pentacles. We got this movement forward. But the journey seems to be alone, by, by yourself, right? So, you know, if you look to the past, the Five of Swords, there was a battle that took place and I feel that now that she's making some headway and progress in her life she doesn't want to be um, emotionally drawn in right so she is disconnecting or maybe she feels that the relationship has gone stagnant there's no movement so I'm gonna pull one clarifier for that card seven of swords she can't trust uh, so this is um, negative thoughts, feeling like someone's going to betray you, feeling like somebody's stabbing you in the back. So the near future, we've got an escalation of this five to seven and complete disconnect emotionally. Okay, so the masculine near future. Wow, the four of wands joy and stability so this is um the again another union card for twin flames right so it's the 11 11 card confirmation of a twin flame connection so we can see the union happening here in the present in the 5d now this card is union um in the 5d and 3d so it's a commitment a promise um you know it's like this new beginning but yet you um you know you feel completed but yet you have your whole life spread out before you so that's beautiful to see joy and stability after feeling balanced okay so let's leave the final outcome we'll move to the union energy and what's the feminine bringing in wow ace of cups um okay so the Ace of Cups is somebody who is open to love, right? They've let go of the past. They've moved on. We don't see that, you know, we see her moving on, but we see her disconnecting. We see her abandoning almost, not involving herself. So that's somebody who's not open. So I'm going to pull one clarifier. Okay, so the Seven of Fire um, turned up 
in reverse. I usually don't read reversals, but if one happens to pop up, then, you know, it was meant to be. So the Seven of Wands is somebody who has confidence um, to stand up, to speak out, to, you know, hold their ground. So this is a very defensive pose. So in reverse, it's saying that she isn't saying what she needs to say, that she feels overpowered by the masculine. She feels, you know, that she isn't making headway. So that makes sense with the rest of the cards. So that coupled with the Ace of Cups, she wants a new beginning. There's a hint that she would like there to be, you know, a connection made, um, you know, at the heart. She wants to feel true love, but she, um, she feels like she's fighting a losing battle. So the losing battle keeps popping up over and over again on her side. So what is masculine bringing in? Nine of Cups. Happily ever, well, this is actually a wish fulfilled. So in terms of the, the connection, he feels like his wishes and dreams are coming true. He feels emotionally fulfilled. And yeah, you can see that on his side. <laughs> so uh, we got two nines here, which is nearing the completion. So um, there's this monumental feeling of completion, uh, especially with the temperance, especially with the four of wands and the two nines. So... Um, he really feels like he's overcome, that he's completed major cycles in his life, and he's ready for his, he's ready for some form of con commitment. Okay, so at the foundation, shared energy, the universe card. Okay, so the universe card is, um, you know, going through all the stages of awakening, um, getting acknowledgement from the universe that you've completed these stages, so it's a major life cycle ending. So this could be up to 20 years for it to complete. So it is a shared energy between both aspects. So we can definitely feel that energy on the masculine side. On the feminine side, I just, I don't feel this is her card. I feel, you know, she's done. She, she's moving on in a different direction, whereas the masculine is moving towards her, you know, feeling a bond, feeling connected, feeling like the universe is opening up to him, um, feeling like his wishes and dreams are coming to very opposite energy. Okay, you know what, I forgot to put the crowning energy out, so I'm just going to pull one more card from the bottom of the deck over here. Okay, so I guess I can look at it. Wow, Ace of wands another ace two aces when it comes to the union so this is something that they both want they want the go light they want go time they want illumination they want a new start that is spiritually aligned so um this is what they're both working towards is this new beginning or they both desire it so it's at the heart space, king of swords. So this could be an air sign, but this is um, mental clarity, decision made. This is also someone who is communicator. So they have something very important to say, very truthful, honest. Now, the king of swords has no emotional connection. Um, he is devoid of emotion so that he can make, you know, impartial decision, decisions, right? So um, he's also very authoritative. So this is a really hard energy to see at the heart space. But, you know, I feel that sense of coldness cut off coming, again, from the feminine side, not so much the masculine this week. Final outcome for the feminine, wow, spiritual union. I'm going to say wow, wow, wow a thousand times because that's what I do. So spiritual union, recognizing your twin flame, right? So the heart um, is activated, which activates higher levels of consciousness. So as the final outcome, the feminine is going to feel this true love connection. Um, and it could just be in the spiritual 5D realm or it could be you know, in the 3D.
but it's more of an emotional connection. Okay, final outcome for the masculine is the Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving. So this is somebody being open in the 3D, giving of themselves. Uh, they have an abundance. They want to share. You know, they want to look after people. They want to care uh, for others' needs. So this is somebody who's open in the 3D reality. So as a final outcome, the masculine may be offering the feminine something, you know, you know, share their life with each other in the 3D reality. This is the cohabitation card. Um, this is also the reciprocation card as well. So he wants to take it one step further. Um, yeah, and come together in the 3D. So the overall energy card is the Three of Pentacles. So this is a firm foundation, groundedness, um, feeling successful, like a, you're starting to see the fruits of your labor in the 3D reality. Uh, this is somebody who is talented. They're using their creative talents and tools in order to generate uh, abundance in their lives. So as an overall energy, there's this solid foundation here, and it's not going away. I think this was... Um, a theme of last week's reading or even the week before that you know it always comes back to this sense of feeling you know at the very basic level you feel this connection is grounded that it's not going anywhere okay so we got that solid foundation to build a tr you know um, a long-term relationship on all right, so I think we've overdone the myths and mermaids. Um, let's pick from Call It Baron Reed. So this will be the final message from the universe. Final messages do you have for May the 23rd until the 30th? The masculine first and the feminine and just one minute actually let me flip those around first and then oh this one's in reverse okay just one moment okay sorry about that all right so the six of wands in reverse for the feminine again I don't really read reversals so normally this means you're the rock star you feel like you're you're making positive headway um, in reverse, you know, there's this sinking feeling. Here we have a ship attached to a balloon, right? So um, a lot of hot air balloons surrounding it. So it's feeling uplifted, feeling like you are uh, in control of the ship. Um, you know, people are encouraging you as well. This is uh, a, vi a vibe tribe kind of energy. So reverse. Now, I don't think they have reversal um, descriptions in the book, but let me just have a quick look here, see what it says. Okay, so it says upright. Um, okay, so stepping into the limelight, being an enlightened influencer. Um, I generously model my transformation so that others might be inspired. I put my light atop a hill so it can shine forth, helping others to find their way. I remain aware of shadows and people who have trouble basking in the warm light of higher awareness. I bless them, but do not dim my own beacon. It's a time to renew my trust that I am contributing to a higher good of all in my own unique way. Okay, so reverse. So stepping into the limelight. So not stepping into the limelight. Feeling, you know, I definitely feel that seven of wands again uh, in the four of, of cups, the five of swords. Yeah, and this sense of withdrawing, right? Focusing on the darkness rather than on the sun that's behind him. Here there's this rainbow of colors that are touching his foot, but he can't even see that. He's so focused on the, the negative. So I think in the near future is an awareness of this negative thought process that seems to be um, creeping in. I feel that you guys maybe not even be aware of it. 
right? You feel like you're making headway, but there's this kind of gnawing, um, mistrusting energy. So reverse. So we want to turn that upright. We want to um, be a positive influence on other people. We want to draw other people out of the darkness, use our gifts, our talents. Um, yeah. Okay, so the Masson had the Three of Swords. So normally the Three of Swords is a broken heart. Oh, wow, and I opened right to the page. Okay. Silver lining, natural departures. Rejection is God's protection. A third party helps me to see the truth of this situation. What is truly mine can never be withheld from me. Rejection in spirit is spirit's protection. It's in the best interest to let go and allow for something better to take place. It is my highest good to see the truth, regardless of my temporary discomfort. This too shall pass. Okay, so the message from the universe is to move on, let go um, of any lingering pain uh, that you might be holding on to. And I really don't see any hint of that at all. Maybe this Nine of Wands in the past... Um, but, you know, maybe it's a feeling of, I'm afraid that maybe I'm going to hurt her again. You know, because there's this consideration, there's this, you know, analyzing the future. Where have made mistakes in the past? Do I have enough energy to continue on? Um, but what I feel very strongly for him, from him is love, balance, commitment, and openness. For sure. Okay, so don't be afraid to give your heart, to, to offer your heart to somebody for fear of being hurt. Okay, guys, I love you so much. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, cheers.